At the moment, there are around 300 people still in the town of the Grindavik, the town which was abandoned after a series of the earthquakes and the eruption that actually disrupted the normal life there. Now, a new request has been issued to ask the people to leave. And uh, this is by the authorities in Iceland who are responsible for the quick reaction to the incidents like this. Uh, there are 20 to 30 houses still inhabited. There is a farm also which is with the animals there. They are keeping it to the last minute and then they may try to save the animals to safety. And there are some businesses, mostly in the area of the harbor, which are actually a uh, well, fishing industry. That is a good fishing port. Yesterday, after a decline in the pressure, the sourcing uh, power plant, it's a geothermal power plant, was evacuated. We observed the uh, decline in the pressure from that uh, one of the boreholes, the, probably one of the ones that is exactly on the top of the magma reservoir. The fall in the pressure may mean that the magma is subsiding from there, moving uh, eastward toward the Grindavik Rift Valley. We are seeing earthquakes all the time happening in that area, 200, 300 nowadays, and uh, accumulation of the magma is continuing and has passed now 17 million cubic meters. That is uh, more than 50 megatons of the magma still under there. The, the volume may increase when it comes to the surface. You will see that uh, eruption like that in the thermos chart. The land is extending. This is the mid-Atlantic ridge hitting the uh, ground, hitting the land here and actually causing volcanism in that area. It may be something like the January 2024, which caused fire uh, in that part of the town of the Green Dovic, passed and sliced through the defensive walls. I superimposed the images so we can see them. And so this is a dire situation. People have been asked to leave. 